At Independent Drum Lab, we design our drums to be as sensitive and responsive as possible. We do this starting with lightweight, resonant shells and use our proprietary ultralight hardware. The focus on low mass design means our drums require less energy to vibrate. This video shows a few tests that show the effects of those design decisions. This is a bit of an apples to oranges comparison here uh, to demonstrate the acoustic differences between two very different drum designs. Uh, the independent drum lab drum here has our lightweight flex tuned shell, uh, rounded bearing edges, ultralight hardware, and our tunable suspension mount. Uh, this drum has a similar thickness maple shell, uh, but it has sharp bearing edges, glass glitter wrap, heavier hardware, and so on. Uh, both of these 12 inch toms have been prepared with Aquarian texture coated heads, top and bottom, uh, 2.3 millimeter triple flanged hoops, and they've been tuned identically. So let's give them a little listen here. To my ear, there's more richness to the sound of the indie drum, and it's a more unified, cohesive sound. Uh, what I mean by that is, on this drum, I can hear each head vibrating with different fundamentals and overtones, uh, while this drum has kind of a more unified uh, single tone. There's a number of reasons for this. Uh, this drum, first of all, is about 30% lighter than this. So um, without the glass glitter, with the lighter hardware, uh, you've got less mass, and that allows the shell to vibrate more easily. Less energy uh, to get the same vibration out of the shell. Um, the sharp bearing edges on this drum uh, reduce the energy transfer between the top head, bottom head, and shell. Uh, and this kind of allows them to vibrate independently of each other. Uh, whereas on the indie drum, the rounded edges maximize that energy transfer and make all the components resonate together. I'm going to take a quick look at wrapped covering for drums. Uh, I've got these two shells that were identical independent drum lab five ply shells. Um, I covered this one in glass glitter, uh, about a half pound of glass glitter, uh, one and a half pounds, two pounds. Um, and I want to show uh, just from a simple tap test what, uh, what adding this wrap does to the resonance and tone of the shell. So here's our uh, Here's our standard flex tuned shell with a satin lacquer finish. And here's an identical shell with glass glitter wrap. These are the same two shells built up into drums using identical hardware, suspension mounts, heads, hoops, and so on. The only difference between these two is this drum is wrapped with glass glitter. This one has a satin lacquer finish. It's a very subtle difference, but there's definitely more warmth and tone coming out of this drum. In order to compare the differences between hardware design, I've got two drums here built up with identical shells, um, same heads, same hoops, um, the differences, lugs, and suspension mount systems. So this one has all DW parts, this one has independent drum lab parts. Both of the independent drum lab shells. Uh, so any difference we hear is going to be essentially based on the lugs and, and suspension. Really similar uh, sound between the two drums. Um, most of what you're hearing is those shells and the heads. Um, there's a little bit more sensitivity on the indie drum, um, and that's very much a result of the lightweight hardware. <laughs> <laughs> 